Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. I am Pooja Tivedi and in this segment we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help you crack prelims. So let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. Consider the following statements. Khanjar is a series of military exercises between India and Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan is a Central Asian country bordered by Turkmenistan and China. So we have to select the correct statement. Only the first statement is correct, second is not, option A is the correct answer. A new study has reported the presence of doles or Asiatic wild dogs in the high mountains of Central Asia, nearly 30 years after their presence was last recorded. Kyrgyzstan is a country in the Central Asian region, sharing borders with Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, China and Tajikistan. In 2011, the joint Khanjar series of military exercises between India and Kyrgyzstan was started. Consider the following statements. Cyclones are rapid inward air circulation around a high pressure area. The process of naming cyclones is done under the aegis of World Meteorological Organization. So we have to select the correct statement. Only the second statement option B is correct. The tropical storm struck Madagascar's eastern coast at full force, killing at least six people. Several towns have experienced widespread damage and flooding according to reports. Cyclones are rapid inward air circulation around a low pressure area. The air circulates in an anti-clockwise direction in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. These are usually accompanied by violent storms and bad weathers. And the naming of tropical cyclones is a recent phenomenon. The process of naming cyclones involves several countries in the region and is done under the aegis of World Meteorological Organization. Consider the following statements. The Vayanath Wildlife Sanctuary is an integral part of the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. The Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve is included in the UNESCO's World Network of Biosphere Reserve. So, these two statements, apart from that, the Kaveri River flows through the Vayanad Wildlife Sanctuary. We have to select the correct statement. The first and the second statements are correct, but not the third. So, option A will be the correct answer. With the onset of summer, the seasonal migration of wild animals has begun from the adjacent wildlife sanctuaries in Karnataka and Tamil Nadu to Vayanad Wildlife Sanctuary. Vayanad Wildlife Sanctuary is Situated in Kerala, Vayanath Wildlife Sanctuary is an integral part of Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve, spread over 344.44 square kilometers. WWS is contiguous to the Tiger Reserve of Nagarhol and Bandipur of Karnataka and Muddumalai of Tamil Nadu. Kabini River, which is a tributary of Kaveri, flows through the sanctuary. Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve was the first from India to be included in the UNESCO designated. World Network of Biosphere Reserve. Other wildlife parks within the reserve are Mudumalai Wildlife Sanctuary, Bandipur National Park, Nagarhol National Park, Mukurti National Park and Silent Valley. Consider the following statements. Intellectual property rights are the rights given to persons over the creation of their minds. TRIPS agreements set the minimum standards for protection of protection for copyrights and related rights. So we have to select the correct statement. Both are correct. Option C is the correct answer. India runs the risk of being excluded from a proposal it co-authored at the World Trade Organization negotiations in 2020 to temporarily waive IPR held by primarily Western countries on vaccines, therapeutics and diagnostics for COVID-19. IPR are the rights given to person over the creation of their minds, inventions, literary and artistic works and symbols, names and images used in commerce. They usually give the creator an exclusive right over the use of his her creation for a certain period of time. The TRIPS agreement sets the minimum standards of protection for copyrights and related rights, trademarks, geographical indications, industrial designs, patents, integrated circuit layout designs and undisclosed information. It establishes minimum standards for the enforcement of intellectual property rights through civil actions for infringement action at the border. And at least in regard to copyright piracy and trademark counterfeiting and criminal action. Moving on. In which of the following cases, the Supreme Court of India has fixed the upper limit of 50% for reservation? The correct answer is Indira Sohni case of 1992. The Supreme Court's recent judgment in Neil Aurelio Nunes versus Union of India is, a important, is an important contribution to restoring the social justice underpinnings of reservation. The judgment upholds the validity of reservations for other backward classes in the All India Quota of Medical Colleges seats allotted under the National Eligibility Come Entrance Test. Nuanced and deeply researched, it is an important step forward in understanding the constitutional conception of equality. 
in the Indra Sohni judgment of 1992, SC had categorically said 50% shall be the rule only in certain exceptional and extraordinary situations for bringing far-flung and remote areas population into mainstream, said 50% rule can be relaxed. The court upheld the government's move and proclaimed that the advanced section among OBCs must be excluded from the list of beneficiaries for reservation and also held that the concept of creamy layer must be excluded for SCs and STs. Moving on. Consider the following statements regarding RT-PCR. Carrie Mullis, the American biochemist, invented the PCR technique. Under this, copies of a segment of DNA are created using an enzyme called polymerase. Coronavirus is made of DNA, so we have to select the correct statement. Only the first and second are correct. Option A is the correct answer. Carrie Mullis, the American biochemist, invented the PCR technique. He was awarded the Nobel Prize for chemistry in 1993. Under this, copies of a segment of DNA are created using an enzyme called polymerase. The chain reaction signifies how the DNA fragments are copied exponentially. One is copied into two and the two are copied into four and so on. A fluorescent DNA binding dye called the probe is added to DNA, which shows the presence of the virus in a, on a fluorometer. However, coronavirus is made of ribonucleic acid, RNA, not DNA. Therefore, to detect coronavirus, RNA is converted into DNA using a technique called reverse transcription. A reverse transcriptase enzyme converts the RNA into DNA. Copies of DNA then are made and amplified. With respect to China-Pakistan economic corridor, consider the following statements. It connects the ports of Gwadar and Karachi to China's Lhasa province. CPEC has been compared to the Marshall Plan post-World War II. So, we have to select the correct statement. Only the second statement is correct. Option B is the correct answer. China and Pakistan agreed to carry forward the in-depth development of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor Project. It's a flagship project under China's Belt and Road Initiative, which passes through Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. The project was launched on April 20, 2015. The goal of the CPEC is both to transform Pakistan's economy by modernizing its road, rail, energy transportation system and to connect the deep sea Pakistani ports of Gwadar and Karachi to China's Xinjiang province and beyond by overland routes. CPEC has been compared to the Marshall Plan for the rebuilding of post-World War II Europe and its potential impact on the region. Moving on, a team of Argentine scientists is using microorganisms native to Antarctica to clean up pollution. Consider the following statements in this respect. It can potentially not only clean up plastic, but also pollution from fuel. The continent of Antarctica is protected by a 1961 Madrid protocol that stipulates it must be kept in a pristine state. We have to select the correct statement. Both are correct. Option C is the correct answer. The tiny microbes munch through the waste, creating a naturally occurring cleansing system for pollution caused by diesel that is used as a source of electricity and heat for research bases in the frozen Antarctica. Then the continent is protected by a 1961 Madrid protocol that stipulates it must be kept in pristine condition. The microorganisms native to Antarctica clean up pollution from fuels and potentially plastics in the pristine expanses of the white continent. Moving on. With respect to artificial neural networks, consider the following statements. Deep learning models are built on the idea of neural networks and that is what allows the models to learn from refined data. Deep learning is a precursor to machine learning. We have to select the correct statement. Only the second is correct. Option B is the correct answer. Through artificial neural networks and the backpropagation method, artificial intelligence has become more powerful. The term artificial neural network refers to a biologically inspired subfield of artificial intelligence modeled after the brain. An artificial neural network is usually a computational network based on biological neural networks that construct the structure of human brain. Deep learning models are built on the idea of neural networks and this is what allows the models to learn from raw data. The goal of these types of models is to somehow get machines to mimic human behavior. Both machine learning models and deep learning models are expected to learn something from the data that can be used to help inform future decisions. However, deep learning models take ML just a bit further. The idea is that typically ML, that is machine learning algorithms, attempt to define a set of rules within data and these rules are usually hand-engineered. Alsom Island, recently seen in the news, is situated off the coast of which of the following countries? The correct answer is option D, North Korea. As Kim Jong-un unleashed his biggest ever barrage of missiles tests last month, one place suffered the most, a barren pile of rocks 
whose name means no man's land. Alsom Island, located 18 kilometers off North Korea's northeastern coast, has been targeted in more than 25 missiles strikes since 2019. So much firepower directed at a single spot has prompted jokes that Kim must have a grudge with weapons. Expert Joseph Dempsey quipping on Twitter that Alsom was North Korea's most hated rock. Moving on. Consider the following statements. It is a landlocked country of Western Africa. The Niger River flows through its interior. The fabled but now faded trading and learning center of Timbuktu is situated in this country. The prime meridian passes through it. These statements best describe which of the following countries? The correct answer is option B. Mali. Weeks after their distress calls, the first batch of seven Indian workers out of 33 who were stranded in Mali without their earnings and their passports returned to the country on Saturday. Mali, landlocked country of Western Asia, is mostly in the Saharan and Sahelian region. The Niger River flows through its interiors, functioning as the main trading and transport artery in the country. The fabled, but now faded, trading and learning centre of Timbuktu is situated in Mali on the upper Niger River. The national capital, Bumako, is located on Niger River and is a rapidly growing city because of increased migration from depressed rural areas. The prime meridian passes through the countries of Algeria, Burkina Faso, Ghana, Mali, Spain, Togo and United Kingdom. Which of the following statements is are correct regarding the Swamitva scheme? The Swamitva is a central sector scheme. Ministry of Earth Sciences is the nodal ministry of the scheme. It aims to demarcate the rural inhabited areas. So we have to select the correct statement. That's it for today. Tomorrow, we shall meet again with another set of questions. Until then, stay updated. Thank you so much for watching.